Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hello, folks. I want to show you today on how to change vinyl skirting to something that's quite a bit more substantial and what we're using is the same commercial metal. First thing I had to do is measure the three corners that are the highest and determine that height as being how many say half of them in this case were 40 something inches 42 inches and the other were 36. Quite, some of them are quite a bit longer than what we need, but we'll be cutting them off. This metal allows you to be durable. The, the finish itself is 40 year guarantee. And then you know how long metal will last after it's rusty. You've seen many a rusty roof on a barn. So 50, 60 years, we're hoping this stuff will still be here. But what we're doing, and the bad part about vinyl skirting, which will charge you quite often as much for vinyl skirting as for what we're about to do here. But if you notice down over here at, against the house, the bottom of the rail is pushed in, the skirting's pulled out, and there's holes at the bottom. Sometimes that's caused by weed eaters, sometimes by lawnmowers. It could be any number of things because after five years, everything gets brittle plastic wise. And this happens a lot. This one has lasted a quite a bit longer. Quite a testament to what vinyl skirting can do, but it shows you exactly what happens with vinyl skirting. What we're gonna do is use the top rail and the bottom rail that is existing. And you could do the same thing at your place. And what we'll have to do is straighten out the bottom rail, which in this case is pushed in. And we're gonna bring it back out and then put in metal and use the same trim that's already existing. Again, this is something you can do very easily and we'll take you through it. Right here again is an example of how the plastic will deteriorate. And by the way, it'll do the same even if you spray it with uh, poison to kill the grass. That will soften this metal and just fall apart just as if a weed eater did it. Um, so again, it's pushed it in. These panels are interlocked together and I'll show you how to take that apart and then, and then these this is called a top front the top front snaps in so what we're going to do pull out the top front and slide out the panels looks real easy but sometimes it's not sometimes it's really bad we're going to have to Clean up all this right here, and then the bottom rail. Will have to be moved and cleaned out. All that dirt will have to come out of there. Hello again. What we're doing now is what we talked about. We're gonna straighten out this rail this is what we call a bottom rail and we're going to clean it out but it needs to be moved in order to do that like Chris has done right here we had to dig in front so we can move it over this this bottom rail is fastened by nails you have one of those nails. and we're gonna make sure the nails are down where we want them to be and we're cleaning all this out with screwdrivers these nails sometimes are in the middle in this case, there's holes on the outside. So as soon as we get it where we want to, take a hammer and drive it down. A lot of times, you might hit a nail. It's gonna do some funny stuff. You may have to pull it up and go to a different hole. But in that case, we were fortunate. And uh, so what we're doing right now is cleaning out this rail so we can get the new material in that dirt that uh, is not allowing us to do. So we're gonna clean it all up. There's something else I want to tell you. If you go to working with this material, the top front, this is your top back, 
the top front's what goes over that, covers your material. And then the bottom rail in here, you don't want to mess with this stuff below freezing. If you notice, we're in warm weather gear, but it's not freezing yet. What will happen is that material will crack and bust like crazy. You won't be able to reuse it. You'll have to get some uh, something else. And by the way, that stuff's not expensive. Six, seven dollars a, a section. So what we're trying to do is help you save money by doing this yourself or for someone else. Here we are. We're going to put several nails down through here, but in this case, again, I'm going to show you that nails are right there. Sometimes they're in the middle. You need to get them all down so it'll be out of the way. Now keep in mind, on this bottom rail, the back side is higher than the front side. That way you can bump up against it and slide down. And uh, the metal that we're using is a little bit thicker than the skirting, so we'll end up widening that. Now, the top rail, before we get started, you need to make sure it's fastened good. In this case, it's they put vinyl siding over top of masonite. The masonite rate rots out real bad. It is fastened real good right here. So I'm going to start on this other end. I'm going to start getting measurements, and I want you to watch, and I'll show you over and over again how I do it. In this corner, the panels are 36, 37 inches long, but they overlap. Okay, I'm going to stick my tape measure down inside that bottom rail, and I don't want to go all the way up to the top. Because if I take that skirting all the way up to the top, then I can't push that top front trim on. So I'm going to stay down an inch or so. So in this case, one side is 30 and a half. This one's 29 and a half, so we'll have to cut an angle. Plus, I'm going to wrap around. In this case, eight or nine inches. This is my stack of material. Remember, it's 30 and a half on one side, 29 and a half on the other. So I'm going to pull from the top, but you want the top to stay straight, and we're going to cut the bottom. 30 and a half here. 29 and a half here. And then you can use any kind of straight edge. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the top rail, the top front. It has a straight edge right there that's real stiff. But you can use a four foot level piece of board, chalk line, whatever you want. I'm going to use a pencil and a straight edge after I made marks on both sides. Again, I'm going to show you this over and over. Like so. Now, I have a pair of snips here. What I'm fixing to do may look easy, but it takes some practice. Pick up the sheet, and I'm using straight snips. If you notice the yellow handles, this is kind of rusty, but straight snips. And you can use right and left, but you got to be able to cut straight. Straight works out pretty good. So here I go. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to try to peel it forwards. At the same time, I'm going to start putting pressure down on this side. And it literally lends itself. It wants to tear, but I'm taking the snips and, and showing it where I want it to tear. I'm pulling up on it. Nine and a half from the top down on the left. And I said I needed nine inches on the other side, so we gotta bend this metal. When it comes to bending this metal, you have several choices. You have the two, the high ribs and these lower ribs. You can bend them on those. They had a tendency to bend right there. Sometimes you might have to help it. In this case, nine inches falls out about on that first rib. We're going to go ahead and bend it right in the middle of that rib. This is how I'm going to do it. Color down. Okay. 
We have to build it more than once. See how it's bent? Now I gotta wiggle it over there into that really wired up area and get it down inside that top, that bottom rail. 